Are your spirit guides mad at you? Well, are they? Hi, I'm Erin Ashley with ErinAshleyCoaching.com and this is Psychic Sunday. Today we're going to talk about your spirit guides. Okay, so the short answer to your question, are your spirit guides mad at you, is no, they aren't mad at you. Now, they can be a little frustrated at times, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Today, what you're going to learn is the main goal of your spirit guides, how your guides view you, how to make your guides happy. All right, so the main goal of your spirit guides is very simple. They see you as you really are, who you really are on a soul level. And they're here to help guide you to bring that to life in your physical incarnation, in your life here on earth. Their main goal is to help you grow, to reach your potential. It is not your comfort. If your guides need to make you uncomfortable in order to help you grow and achieve the goals, objectives that you decided you wanted to accomplish before you incarnated, they will do so happily. So just for a second, I would like for you to put on the shoes of your spirit guides. They are always perfectly in tune with your perfection and potential. So right now, I want you to imagine that you're in the ether and you are a spirit guide. You're watching your charge view live their life and you can see their, your perfection and your potential. And they chose to help you before you incarnated knowing that you would often forget who you really are, your strength, your inner beauty, and your potential, and that you'd lose sight of your perfection in the maze of life. So they're up there in the ether watching you try to remember that you're perfection, but often forgetting and getting caught up in the trap of you're not good enough or the BS that you can't do certain things, that people don't like you, that you're unlovable. That's where they're at. They're just trying to get you back to remembering who you really are. So you, in this physical plane, it's basically like a maze and they're trying to direct you to your cheese or your goal. So you're in the hedge, in the maze, the physical realm, and they have to guide you. So because they're basically above the hedges, They can see the whole maze. They can see what's coming up, what could possibly block you and what could help you. Whereas you have the perspective of being in the maze. All you see are the hedges around you and you don't know what's around the corner. So their job is to get you to your goals, your cheese, with as few blocks as possible, with as few wrong turns. So how to make your guides happy? Listen to your intuition. When directing you through the maze, the guides will use the universe to send you information on where to go and why. So they will send you signals in several different forms. They can send it through intuitive nudges. So if you keep getting the feeling you should be doing something or you should call someone or send an email or you should change your career, then that's an intuitive nudge from your guides. They're trying to get you on the path to the goals, to the cheese that you chose before you incarnated. And so listen to them because they really do have your best in mind. Next, they will also send you people that you meet and connect with. So if you have coffee with a friend and you find the same things keep coming up and you keep getting the same advice from people, multiple people all the time about what you should be doing, That's a pretty big message from the universe that you need to be doing something. So listen to that too. Synchronicities. So if you have a special connection with, let's just say limes for the sake of simplicity, uh, you really love limes, it's really attractive to you, you love the green color, you love everything about them, and you are going, and every time you have an intuitive hit, a lime shows up. Or if you have a question, a lime shows up. That's a synchronicity. That's a signal from the universe letting you know that you are on the right track. Another common synchronicity is 1111. 
if you're thinking about doing something, you're considering making a new move, and you see the numbers 1111, that is a good sign that it is good action for you to take. And finally, they also send signals in the form of dreams. If they keep sending you the same types of dreams, especially recurring dreams about something that you want to do, something that feels really good, or sometimes on the opposite side, a recurring dream of something that they don't want you to experience, they're trying to steer you away from, that's a way that they communicate. That's a way that they're really trying to get you on your path and keep you safe. So to make them happy, you just want to listen to the messages and the signals that they're sending you. And remember, when you're listening, you have to take action on faith. You don't always know why. Unfortunately, when you're in the maze part, you can't see what's around the corner. So you don't know why it's important to, for instance, take a particular class or to make a certain phone call. You don't know. You're not in that different perspective. So you have to have faith that there's a bigger purpose behind it. All right, now you know my style. We don't just sit around here and talk theory. We actually take action because if you have an intuition and you don't take action, then you've basically rendered your intuitive knowing useless. You're not using it. Your challenge is that after you watch this video, comment on the blog about an area of your life where you know you haven't been listening to your guides and talk about what you're going to change, what you're going to do now that you have this information. Thank you for watching. If you know someone this video could help, send them a direct email. People love to know that you're thinking about them. If you liked this video, also make sure you're on the list. Go to erinashleycoaching.com and sign up for the weekly newsletter. You'll get a weekly video like this one and updates on upcoming events and services. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.